Welcome back. You are with Biz First Review 360. Now, News First journalist Nadim Majid caught up with Professor Shukri Abiyajid on the role Asian universities are playing in the 21st century. The 21st century, Asia's century, it's being called in terms of global economics. Asia, specifically Southeast and South Asia and the Far East as well, have become the engine of global economic growth. What is the role that Asian education institutions now play in this century taking Asia forward? I'm in conversation today with Professor Shukri, the president and founder of MSU, the Management and Science University in Malaysia. Professor Shukri, thank you very much for speaking to Biz First Review 360. Let me start by asking you very generally, what is yeah. the role of the Asian education, uh, of the Asian university in this 21st century? Uh, thank you for inviting me. I think one of the important things as a university is to look into to, to make sure that we can be part and parcel of the development of a country, of a nation. I'm, I'm a strong believer that education is always the best mobility factors. And I think in this context, uh, probably university can be a best institution that can transform the country transform the nation by looking into the future of preparing our students to be a well-rounded graduate and be prepared for 21st century learning and at the same manner also be a hub for the growth. This is a, a, a term that is thrown around quite frequently, 21st century learning. What is 21st century learning? How is it different from the past? What is the focus of education today, especially in terms of uh, the sciences? I think when we talk about 21st century learning, it's, a, it's, about, it's always about being connected, be part of the technology. And I think with that component, you need a new set of skills. It is not good to be to be sound good academically, but you must also be able to be collaborative. You must be able to have good communication skill. You must be able to be creative. You must be able to have critical think thinking because this is the component of connectivity of 21st century learning, and this is very important. Professor Shukri, when we're talking about education, there's a, a complaint that is made uh, frequently now. Is that is that when you're talking about education, there is less of a focus today in the present mm -hmm. on the quality of education. Mm -hmm. There are less people talking about uh, the quality of education, as mm -hmm. they say. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this is true? Do you think that there is less of a focus on the quality of education today? And how is MSU different? I think, I think from our perspective, university must always um, focus on quality because that is the basic pillars of any institution. Those who do not focus on quality, they will not give to be successful and they cannot produce the right graduates. And I think this is a very important element for MSU, Management Science University. We always focus on quality, we always benchmarking ourselves with international uh, players. We work with many partners universities all over the world. We have the global mobility program. We make ourselves as the best uh, university in terms of preparing the student for well-rounded graduate, for employability and for entrepreneurship. Because that is we have the economy. Another thing when you're talking about the quality of education is of course you come to the sphere of research and development. Uh, we've seen how in the West, mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the rise of the West, uh, we saw the integral role that higher education institutions doing research and development played in driving innovation and creativity forward. Even now in Asia, many Asian companies, many Asian enterprises are doing their research and development yeah. overseas. Yes. So when you're talking about private industry driving uh, the growth of education in Asia, do you think that Asian higher education institutions uh, Asian universities are geared to do the kind of R&D that the private sector demands. Yes, I think this is something that we need to be done in, in the university. When we talk about the industry, it's always about the partnership. And I, I keep saying that in order to be successful in the future, we must make sure that the pu public and private partnership must be there. And at the same manner, we must bring the industry into the campus in the manner that our curriculum, the way we deliver must be industry embedded. The industry embedded curriculum 
will mesh because they can spur the research, applied research with the industry. I think with that component, the three angle collaboration between industry, university and the public, that will make the society move forward. Professor Shukri, can I ask you, we've seen recently, especially in the United States, uh, with the confirmation of the new education secretary, there was a lot of debate about for-profit colleges yes. and uh, what their, and the motivations, yeah, yeah. Uh, whether it's education driven or whether it is solely profit driven. Do you think that uh, even in Asia, mm. that uh, the legislators need to start rethinking how they regulate higher education? Yes, I think as I said earlier, it's very much about partnership of public and private. It's not public or private. I think with that partnership, we can make the country grow. And this is something that we in Asia have to fully develop and fully embrace. We must make sure that the partnership of industry and public, private and public moving, and in the same manner will get benefits for the for the student. I think uh, I must say also the most important thing we must focus is about the output. If we have installed the right benchmarking, right quality process, and then the right output of graduate, no matter whether it's public or private, we are contributing for the nation building. Professor Shukri, I have uh, just one final question for you uh, before we wrap up because we are a little short on time as well. Uh, when you're talking about the growth of MSU, uh, we've seen MSU has got a presence already in Sri Lanka. Uh, and MSU is not alone, we're seeing more and more Asian universities looking at Sri Lanka as a viable option. Why, why is this? Why, why the focus on this? I think one of the things in MSU, we are a global university. And uh, I've been here for the last uh, 12 to 15 years. I can have seen Sri Lanka in the past and I can also uh, foresee the Sri Lanka in the future. One of the strong assets that you have here as a country is the human capital. So I think this is the reason why we management sanctions to be here setting up our learning center because we would like to contribute and to develop, to nurture in our small way to the development of human capital here because I believe Sri Lanka can be education hub in the future. You have all the infrastructures coming up and also the asset that you have, the human capital. The only thing that you need a good, well-rounded policies. Professor Shukri, thank you very much for speaking to Business First Review thank 360. You. It's thank been an enlightening conversation. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.